Hello, this is Mark Orbic. I'm here with another tip tutorial from Max Cookie. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use smoothing groups for your high poly hard surface modeling instead of more traditional methods like holding up your edges with edge loops. The reason why something like this is very advantageous is it allows you to build faster, create interesting shapes easier, and concept on the go. So without further ado, let me show you what I'm talking about. On the left here, I will show you the standard method of how to create hard surface models. So normally what you would do is you would go ahead and uh, connect the edges uh, with some supporting edges so that you, um, when you smooth it out, you uh, get sharp edges. So we'll throw a turbo smooth on there. I crank it up a couple times. And that's, that's the more traditional method. Um, so on the right one here, I'm going to show you a new method which allows for some really unique advantages. So let's go ahead and convert this to an editable poly. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and drop a turbo smooth right on top of it. Uh, now, oops, sorry. Um, this is what you'd expect to see when you turbo smooth out a cube. It turns into a sphere-like shape. Um, but if you come down here to the surface parameters, there's another there's a tick mark right here called smoothing groups and if you turn that on it will only smooth out sm the smoothing groups so every side of this is its own smoothing group and um, and that's all that's being smoothed so you can crank this up a little bit uh, let's just crank it up to three and then you can put another turbo smooth on top and let's crank that up to two and you get pretty much the same result and uh, obviously the one on the left is a little sharper so a couple ways you can adjust that is you can either up the iteration count on the on the smoothing group one and that's getting closer let's see that's probably the same um but then you start getting an extremely high polygon count so um i'm going to turn that back down to 3 a and uh the other way you can do it is just by adding cuts right down the middle oops so let's just add one down each side so they're sort of like supporting edges but basically what you're doing is just cramming all the iterations into smaller groups so that it holds up the edges better so we get pretty much the same result here and the more cuts you have the sharper they're going to be or the more iterations you have the sharper they're going to be so one of the drawbacks is you'll pretty much always have a higher polygon count with this method but it allows you to do some really neat things like this so let's just say that um, I wanted to cut a notch out here so let's just delete these and I'll just quickly model a notch so let's just weld those and I am definitely not going to be perfect here but if I wanted to snap the edges I could so I'll just bridge across here and bridge across here oops bridge across here so let's take a look and automatically we get exactly what we're looking for I don't have to run a bunch of edges in different directions to get this shape and uh, here's another thing that you can do with this if you want to go ahead and make this a rounded cutout all you have to do is make them the same smoothing group so now we can get something like this which is not an easy shape to get with traditional methods so I think this uh, method definitely has advantages over the traditional method um, I use both in my day-to-day -day modeling but uh, this has been a really nice tool to add to my repertoire so um, let me just show you another thing so just keep on adjusting so let's make this one a separate poly group and we can just do that uh, again just quickly on the fly get really nice hard surface details and I use this method a lot for concepting out what I want and then sometimes if I don't really like the exact look I'll go back and I'll um, I'll use some standard method but uh, I pretty much always use this method to concept my workout it's just faster and you can change the results really quickly on the fly here's a couple of examples of some other shapes I've created using this method just really quickly um, I'll be including this uh, project file 
with the tutorial so that you can just come in and look at how I have the smoothing groups actually set up so um, you can take a look at it for yourself see what's actually happening and go ahead and try and apply this to your own work if you want so um, that will be there for you guys if you want uh, stay tuned for more tutorials from Max Cookie thank you